Well, in this video, we'll be taking a look at Xtrix 10. It's a Linux distribution based on Ubuntu 12.04. comes from Sweden, and it's styled a bit to look like uh, Mac OS X. So along the bottom, we've got this docky bar, which, as I said, will start to look a bit like Mac OS X. It's based on GNOME 3 and doesn't have the Unity desktop installed. So along the top, you can see we've got the GNOME Classic desktop. I'm not sure if it's got the full GNOME Shell desktop or there's issues with VirtualBox because I have been having quite a lot of problems with VirtualBox in this distro. It's been difficult to get it going. Also along the top you can see we've got some shortcuts. So that's for Terminal, Opera, Firefox, Abbey Word, Synaptic, VLC, Thunderbird, GIMP, Brazio and VLC. Got the calendar, network and the user menu. Now this also comes with another desktop, the Qt Razor desktop. So you can see once again we've got the docky bar. We've got a very small taskbar at the bottom of the screen. So that's a bit like the GNOME Classic style desktop. We'll swap back to the GNOME 3 Classic and see what we get pre-installed. So under accessories, a variety of accessories, nothing too special there. Under games, well there's no games, but we've got Finder just opens up Nautilus with a search bar and also got a shortcut to Launchpad which gives you a Unity style application finder under graphics so we've got document viewer, GIMP, image editor, LibreOffice draw, Shopwell photo manager and simple scan under internet we've got empathy, internet messenger we've got two web browsers, we've got Firefox and Opera and we've got two email clients, we've got Silfeed and Thunderbird Perhaps a bit overkill having two lots of email and browsers. Uh, let's just take a quick look at YouTube. And we're just going to see if any uh, videos work. Ah, why well, not the trolling the Windows phone scam? Oh, yes, yes, very nice. Oh, we can see Flash works straight out the box. Hello, yes. All right, carrying on under Office. So we've got both Abbey Word and the full suite of LibreOffice. Applications are opening up about as fast as Ubuntu 12.04 managers. Now, under programming, so we've got a dev help and Glade interface designer. And the sound and video, we've got Brazio disk burner, cheese webcam viewer, Clementine media player, I do like Clementine. So I've got Totem movie player, sound recorder and VLC. Under system tools, so we've got a backup program called Back in time, we've got a disk cleaner called Bleachbit, as well as a few other configuration options here, a few administration options, I'm not going to read through all those, and a few preferences. And the NVIDIA drivers it comes with, so it's updated the NVIDIA drivers and giving you, give you the 295. I believe that's the ones that are okay, not the buggy ones. I want to open up the system monitor. See, memory usage is fairly low at 387 meg. CPU usage isn't that high. Looking at the system, it provided an updated kernel, so I've got kernel 3.5, and that's just the processes. So here's what I thought of Xtrix 10. So easy to use, uh, reasonably, although there were some issues with the login that it didn't accept my username initially on the installer, so I had to go and recreate an account. Ease of installation, uh, not brilliant. There's no auto login on the installer, and I had to go looking on the website to see what the login was. Because it's an account called Live with the password Live. Styling, yeah, reasonably good. Uh, there's a few issues there with the docky launcher overlapping a GNOME taskbar. Customization, yep, top marks there because it's GNOME 3 and you can do quite a lot of customization there. Boot up speed, actually, it's pretty good. Uh, number of bugs, yes, yeah, so this is where it lets it down a bit. So there's numerous crashes during the initial use. Uh, there's certainly crashes on the login screen and when it first boots up onto desktops. And there's also a package conflict in the update manager. I've actually done nothing much. I didn't need to do any updates when I first installed this distro. Uh, selection of pre-installed apps, uh, perhaps a few too many. They've got like two email clients, two web browsers. Yeah, it's a bit overkill really. Could have just picked one and gone with it. 
a number of apps available. They've added some repositories, but not really enough to give me for me to justify giving it full marks. And 32 and 64-bit versions. Well, it only comes with a 64-bit version, so it's a bit different to see that. But I don't mind. It's a 64-bit computer, but maybe people with an older computer that's only 32-bit will be let down there. Can't use this distro. So good points. Uh, well, you get the updated kernel and the NVIDIA drivers. And you've also got a nice Mac-style interface with the, with the classic GNOME desktop. If you don't like Unity, that's a good alternative. The bad points. Well, it's missing the equivalent to the Windows Aero Snap. Or I'm trying to find out what the name of the Snap is in Ubuntu. You can see you've got it there. Where you put the application to the side and it automatically will resize. And there's also a lot of leftover config files from where they've obviously trimmed down another distro. Didn't clean it up though. So overall 70%, not too bad. So thanks for watching, see you later.